If you guys have not been up to date with the Mustang build series, the very first thing we tackled was the window tint. Limo tint's all around 5% with a 20% windshield. Yeah, I, I had to get rid of that fishbowl. Next, we tackled the Euro tail lights or the clear tail lights. I literally bought this mod before I even bought the car because these cars need it. After the clear tails, we moved on to the suspension. Had to get rid of that nasty wheel gap from factory. Bought some iBox Sport lines, a little bit under $400. Not too bad, honestly, to get rid of the wheel gap. Oh yeah, can't forget 25 millimeter spacers. It made the fitment look so good. After the lowing springs, we moved on to the front end of the car. Alpha Rex sent out their Gen 2 headlights for the Mustang. Since we're on the front end already, I threw on the MP Concepts front lip. And yeah, the front end of the car literally got a whole transformation. Now, today's video, we have the first piece of carbon fiber for the car. Since we've been focusing on the front end recently, it's time to move on to the rear end. All right, so it's time to remove the stock spoiler off of the Mustang because we have a new one sitting right there, as you guys can see. This is gonna make the rear end look so much more aggressive. Last video, we put the front spoiler, or spoiler, the front lip on, a new front lip, and some new headlights. So without further ado, let's go ahead and rip the stock spoiler off. Whole bunch of pop clips. All right, that should be it. Looks like there's a couple bolts or nuts. There is two right here. I believe there's one, yep, in there. And then another in there. Make my life a little easier. Don't lose your nut, pause. Let gravity help it fall. Just like that. Oh, I think that's it. I'm just gonna start yanking. Not too bad, honestly. Alright, not too bad, man. Alright, so we got a little bit of a mess to clean up, as you can see. Now, thankfully, as you can see, we got some holes pre-drilled from the factory from the stock spoiler. Now, the reason why I say thankfully is because, check it out, we have our authentic GT500 real carbon fiber spoiler for the Mustang, dude. This thing is so freaking sick. Now, right off the bat, as you can see, it's pretty like faded, kind of oxidized, uh, just from sitting out in the sun. Previous owner actually didn't drive his car a lot, so it was actually sitting out in the sun. He hit me up, he was like, yo, Chris, this spoiler would look freaking good on your Mustang. And I was like, you know what? It would. So we picked it up recently. Only flaw is it has to get polished because like I said, it has a lot of sun damage. So my boy versus auto detailing is coming through right now. And he's pretty much gonna buff this out, make it look brand new. All right, bro, what are we doing today? I have to polish off some I don't know, some water spotting. <laughs> you, can't, you can't get over it, huh? It looks sick. <laughs> Bro, it's so aggressive. God damn. That is real, bro. So mean. Man, I love quality. this car, bro. Quality style. High quality. Top of the line. Top of the line, bro. <laughs> Oh, he's blood housing. Yeah, yeah, bro. <laughs> but yeah, I just got off a of FaceTime with Austin. He's the one with the red GR86 out in Arizona. We'll be making a trip up to Arizona to go hang out with them. But to add on to that, I found a set of wheels for the Mustang and I literally just like made it official right now. He was just FaceTiming me because he actually met up with the dude uh, that's selling the wheels. And um, yeah, they look good on FaceTime. And, you know, and I was like, you know what? Let's do it, man. So we got some new freaking wheels for the Mustang coming very soon. Probably gonna go up to Arizona, kick it with them, and then uh, pick the wheels up too. So I'm excited, man. We got some wheels over in Arizona. So GT. Ah, la verga, bro. The GT. Ah, look at that, bro. That's <laughs> yeah, a G uh, Shelby wing GT500. <laughs> this thing looks so sick, though, and like BB polish it up. BB. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, no BBL. No BBL? BBL. Bro. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. But nah, this is gonna look so sick. Jeez. You like it? <laughs> Damn. A little bit of color. This guy is super sick. Just a little bit left. Oh, yeah. It's for like this, this Chris? Uh, broken paint, you know? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> Every time the vibration, 
Yeah. The pain is that makes sense. Bro, do not touch nothing, <laughs> bro. Please, please. Give Every me, hey, give me one favor, please. Put it on that wheel and that's it, bro. That's no it? Nothing, bro. I just bought new wheels right now for it. Brand new? Wheels. Oh, really? Yeah. Top of the line or no? Yeah, top oh, of the line. Okay. Top of the line. <laughs> bro, every mod I put it on the car, he's like, all right, bro, that's it. Leave it. Perfect, bro. Literally perfect. Got all the old, like, whatever it was, like, water spots. I don't know what it was from the dealership. Hard water just sat yeah. for so long, but. But, dude, check it out. Perfect clean slate to throw the new spoiler on. And, uh, yeah. Just throw it on. Sure. Alright, so we slapped the spoiler on. And uh, yeah, I showed you guys earlier in the video. As you can see, there was like all of these water spots right in this gap that you can see from the new spoiler. But now, it literally looks like it wasn't even there. So now that we got the spoiler on, what's next? About to clean it up. About a wet sand polisher. Wet sand polish? Yes, That's sir. typically what you do with like, say if like someone hits you up and is like, yo, like my carbon needs yeah. to be like brand new. Is that what you typically like do? Yeah, pretty much. Just wet sand it a couple times and then What's give it a good polish and it's like brand new. Yeah, so right now he just wet sanded everything. That's why it kind of looks just like, like satin or matte. Heck yeah. Uh, I know he's down, bro. Come on. Look at <laughs> this guy. Dude, come on, bro. <laughs> the trunk. <laughs> Dude, that's... Yeah, he's new. It's new. Like brand, brand new. new. Better yeah, than new. Literally. It's not even ceramic coated yet either. I'm gonna show him my new wheels. You guys let can't see, see it let yet. Let me see, let me see. You guys can't see it yet, but I'm gonna show him. Hey, me tell you, hey. Oh yeah, perfect, bro. Well, yeah. <laughs> what do you like better, spoiler or no spoiler? BBL. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so as you can see, my boy Jabron came through from versus auto detailing. You know, he watches all the cars. Um, he ceramic coated the Mustang. He Polished it and then as you can see today he got rid of like all the oxidation on the carbon and I'm sure a lot of you guys have this issue too on your carbon because you guys probably have like carbon hoods carbon fenders trunks And it's a very common issue right like with people that have carbon stuff on their car Yeah, pretty much like I mean uh, the Sun just eats away the carbon yeah. just like the epoxy layer that it has So yes. it's good. I mean you can prevent it too if you like ceramic coat the carbon beforehand mm -hmm. PPF it things like that but I mean if it's Fit it like the wing was, like, yeah. sit me up, we get it fixed. Yeah, so he actually ceramic coated it too. Uh, yeah, if you guys need any, you know, detailing stuff, polish, ceramic coat, uh, carbon restoration, hit up my boy right here. As you can see in the videos, he always takes care of the cars and it looks amazing, man. The results literally look brand new. So, appreciate it, bro. I hope, Sorry. you know, uh, get some people coming your way and yeah, man. Yeah, Thank you, so bro. Appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank you so much. I made my car dirty. <laughs> no, it's all right. This is uh, Joanne's uh, little warehouse. This is where you work, bro? Yeah, the, the, this piston is nasty, bro, right Ooh, now. Ooh, looks like the BRZ. Blown up motor. Yeah, bro. Oh, same your, same thing? Same your, your purple car, same. Oh, look, look my the piston. gosh. Jeez. This is so yeah. sick. I kind of want one aloft. He wants to build me a loft. Thinking about it. Look at the engine, everything. Everything. Take it off. And working this Damn, full po day. polish frame. Yeah, <laughs> that guy is Sick. bling bling guy. Bling bling guy. He's <laughs> <laughs> from like he's, he's like chrome, you chrome, know, polish. Yeah. Oh hell no! Look at that, bro. Low quality, bro. I know we kind of left off. I think it was nighttime when we put the spoiler on, but uh, now you get to see um, that the spoiler is really like brand new. He polished it, uh, ceramic coated it. And it looks literally brand new. It looks so good during the day. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comment section below. The Mustang is coming along, man. All right, guys, just got home from the post office. I appreciate it so much for all the orders on Borge Supply. Uh, I've just been shipping stuff out every single day. So if you guys order something, thank you so much. Tracking numbers should be in your email. So yeah, thank you so much, guys. Y'all are literally the best. Got a little, uh, I guess you can say haul. Um, <laughs> ordered a bunch of little stuff for the Mustang. Uh, I think I got it off of American Muscle, I think. Whole bunch of like little small like 
lighting upgrades you guys have been wanting me to get for the car. Yeah, as you can see, this is for the license plate. So under the, under the bumper, there's lights for your license plate. <laughs> uh, so this is like an LED swapped uh, direct plug and play. Should look way better. Always nice upgrading to like nice little LEDs. So we have that. I believe this is for the reverse light. So on the diffuser, there's like a there's a white light at the bottom, and it's, it's so ugly. Super bright white LED replacement. Probably gonna go ahead and install these after. I'm sure it's gonna be really really fast. This right here, yep, yeah, this is the shift knob. Super simple white shift knob. Um, I don't know. I'm, I don't know. Like I'm not really a a shift knob guy. I just saw it online. I thought it was cool. I mean, I'm fine with the stock shift knob. I usually typically keep the stock shift knobs in my car. I don't know, this is cool. So yeah, we got that shift knob. What else did we get? Um, you guys have been bugging me to get this. This is a Raxium. Uh, these are the clear side marker. I don't know what you call it, the, the rear reflectors. And um, it's clear. Literally feel like on every single video in the comments and on Instagram, you guys are always telling me, get rid of that stock red uh, bumper reflector. So we got it right here, the clear replacement for the Mustang. I get a lot of questions on what phone mount I use in my cars. So I use a Skosh. In every single one of my cars, I use this one. Uh, Skosh, it's like this magnetic um, phone mount. It's the most simple slash effective phone mount. I mean, it's common sense, 3M tape, you stick it on your dash, wherever, or near your radio. Boom, your phone sticks on there. I usually put two in my cars. The other one I use for like the airlift controller. And yeah, right here, I have it mounted on the side. So I just like slap my phone right there and it works so good. Or if I wanna put my airlift controller, as you can see, it has a magnet on the back. Boom, just like that. Super accessible, easy, like easy to reach. It's so satisfying. <laughs> Should work. Oh yeah, check it out. So we got the aftermarket one, pretty bright. Then the stock side, oh yeah, <laughs> such a big difference. Just a little like bulb in the middle. Most importantly though, it matches with the clear tails. All right, the reverse lights are so bad on this car. I'll show you guys real quick. I think it's like orange, it's so bad. Time to throw on the new LED bulb. All right, let's see this. <laughs> Oh, dude, that's much better. Look at how bright that is. Pure white. That's so sick. These ones look much bigger than the ones that were on the car, so these should be brighter, hopefully. Oh yeah, that is so much better, bro. This is a new one, obviously. This is the old one. Damn. Such a big difference, bro. This is just one, two. All right, not gonna need the old stuff. Last but not least, let's change the shift knob. I assume you just freaking, I don't wanna break it though. Look. Damn bro, this thing is, oh, there. All right, we broke it loose. Boom, there it is. Our white shift knob, nothing crazy. Honestly, just a simple shift knob. That's what I was looking for. But yeah, super cool. It's nice. All right y'all, so we're on the way to the mall right now. Bilingual with my boy Henri. As always, we're on the freeway. We got a little tunnel. <laughs> You guys know what that means. The window's down. Aw, oh, snap, bro. It's gonna be so loud. Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> it's so funny, like, when I'm filming, like, inside of the car, window's up. Like, it looks pretty dark in here. Like, it looks like the sun is, like, almost set. But, nah, like, check it out. <laughs> Since it's so dark, bro, the 20% windshield, the 5% sides, like, I'll crack the window a little bit. It's not even close to being dark outside. <laughs> All right, let's check them out before the sun goes down. It looks freaking sick, the clear reflectors. You notice anything different in the rear? <laughs> it's small, though. I know. Oh, you saw the clear? Oh, yeah. Okay. It was, it was hella noticeable. Really? Yeah. Nah, it looks freaking good, bro. Those little small things made it, made a big difference. It looks so aggressive. My gosh. But anyways, what are we about to do today? Take about to get some caps. A new cap. Lately, they haven't been, uh... They haven't been, uh... The drop's been dookie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Their options have been dookie, but... <laughs> it's funny, a lot of you guys always, like, DM me, like, 
oh, I'm coming to San Diego. Like, what's that hat store you always go to in your videos? <laughs> Bro, people be saying that, like, oh, I'm in town, San Diego. Like, where's that store at? Yeah. But it's called Capland. Hopefully, we'll get another hat today. I don't know. How many hats you got right now, bro? Honestly, I have a lot of hats, but I only wear like like three in rotation. Yeah. All right, let's see what they got. Okay, all of these SD hats, literally. Damn, there's so many to pick. Yeah, I'm for sure getting that one right there. I have so many black hats, but I don't know. It just goes with everything, that's the thing. Typically, don't just get like every color. I try to get something that I could, I don't know, I always think about like outfits I have and stuff. <laughs> this was Loki Fire, literally. <laughs> As like the flames behind it. I was thinking about going like a retro logo like this. I love this this colorway. It's like the old Padres colorway. That's sick. This one's cool. Bro, they have so many options, bro. You have to remember when that was like a thing in the past, like the rose on the hats and stuff. That was like such a big trend, like, I don't know when that was, like 2015, 2016. Oh, this one's looking sick. Ooh, okay. I have a drop that's gonna match perfectly with that hat. <laughs> so, I don't know. Pretty fire. The only reason why I say it is because I have a merch shop that's gonna match with that. <laughs> so, I'm like, they are getting it. Thank you. Has uh, the green fitting you? That one looks sick, bro. The green looks good on you. Pause. Bro, this one's fire. I don't know why. This one's catching my eye. I think I'll do this one. Can I see this one too? Uh, same same size. Yeah. Yeah. Saw this one last second. That one's sick, bro. Like a black fit. That one's sick. I actually have this colorway already, but in a snapback. But classic black and yellow, the Wiz Khalifa colorway. <laughs> he was saying this is the, the Mustang colorway. The Stang pretty. <laughs> Literally, I didn't think about that until he mentioned it. I actually like this one a lot. But... Yeah, that one's fire. I get that question a lot, like how do you bend your hats? I just like bend it like this, and then I go like, I go like Increments. around. Yeah. Like all the way like that, so it's like even. Tell me how you bend yours. This. Damn, bro, that's like folded in half. Taco. Dude, this one's so fire. It matches the Mustang too, low key. Sheesh. Guys, I'm size uh, seven and one fourths. I do got the P.O. box down below. <laughs> if you guys want to send me one, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> bro, that was fire. I yeah. love that green. Yeah, look, I look cute, Damn. bro. <laughs> oh yeah, and then once I put it on, you have to like bend it more. That's what I've been doing, I've just been yeah. <laughs> I always do this, like, it looks so funny, but when I first get a hat, I'm always just like this, like, just bending it. Bro, this one's fire! Ah. Dude, look at this one. Oh! No, that was, that's sick. good. That's good. Dude, this one's sick. Just wait till we get that new merch, too. It's gonna go perfect with this colorway. Alright, next up. Can't go wrong. I don't know why I love this colorway, black on yellow. Same routine, all the way around. These are like super stiff when you first buy them. <laughs> you keep the sticker on? Well, on the brim? Yeah. Yeah. You do? A lot of people are like, oh, take it off. And like, I don't know, some people will like it on. Yeah, bro. Black on yellow is so clean. What you guys think? Oh, I gotta take out the price tag, but. This one. Bro, I keep stepping on this diaper, bro. <laughs> Damn. This is sick. I don't know which one I like better. I mean, this one goes with my outfit right now, but this one might be my favorite, honestly. I'm probably gonna be wearing this one a lot. I always wear the white one. This same one, but the white SD logo. This one might be my go-to right now. But yeah, today's pickups. Finally found some. We look to be coming here and they don't have anything. <laughs> but finally got some today. I actually got some hats in my car. <laughs> I always have hats in the back seat. These are the, the back seat ones. Bro, I've had this one for a while. The on-field one that the Padres actually use, just the brown, brown and yellow. And then, I was wearing this one yesterday. Oh yeah, this is the, the, the side patch. Oh yeah, the front. It's like red. Oh, yeah. Same color though, I think. Yeah. Kind of like yours better. For real? Sometimes I like hats without the patch. Why? Like if it's a simple green like that, it looks clean with just Nothing. As you can tell, uh, I like hats and I like the Padres. 